Hi everyone, I'm Karen from the A-Linker Academy. Welcome to this class on strength training with a partner. Enjoy your class. Okay, so before we start our exercise, it's important that we do a warm up to get our heart rate up, warm our muscles, get them nice and loose so that we don't injure ourselves. So we're just gonna start with some marching. You wanna try to go as fast as you comfortably can just to get our heart rates up. So we're just lifting our feet and stomping back down, getting nice and high. Perfect. So if you're comfortable letting go of the handlebars, we're gonna bring our arms down and we're gonna add in a bicep curl as we do this. So feet are still going, arms are going. If you're not comfortable letting go completely, hold on with one hand and just do one arm. Good, so we're going at a little bit of a faster pace just to increase that heart rate. You should feel like your internal body temperature is getting a little bit warmer. And let's switch arms if you're holding with one. Perfect, so keep your pace up. And we're marching, we're doing our bicep curl. Perfect, and let's just relax, come back to the feet and let's swing our arms just down at our sides. Good, just a few more seconds and we'll be done with our warm up. Perfect, keep that pace going. And we'll go from three, two, one, and relax. So you are now ready to exercise. This is a 10 minute partner assisted exercise class. All you will need for this class is two exercise bands. So the first exercise that we're going to be doing is a isometric hip flexion and ca seated calf raises. So what we're going to do is one partner is going to have their knees up in the air while the other partner performs 10 calf raises. If you're unable to hold your knees up like this, you can use your hands to help assist and hold it up for five repetitions and then you'll hold your opposite leg up for five repetitions. Okay? So you can decide who's doing who first, who's doing knees or toes, and who is doing hips. All right, so those who are lifting their hips, lift their knees up, and the other partner performs 10 calf raises, and go. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So relax your legs down to the ground, and now each partner is going to switch. So knees up and we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent. So we're actually going to do that a second time. So now you're going to go back to your first movement. So those lifting their, their hips, go ahead, lift up and the other partner will start for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, and now we switch. So you're doing the opposite movement. And for calf raises, we're going for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent, good. So we're going to give our lower body a bit of a break and we're going to move to our upper body. So each partner is going to hold onto one end of their ribbon, or their band rather. So each person is holding the band in each hand. So if you're comfortable not holding onto the bike, then what you're going to do is you're gonna sit nice and tall, shoulders back, abs are in. I'm gonna have Donna holding her hands tight into her waist. I'm going to flare my elbows out. I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades, and then I'm gonna pull my fists to the front of my shoulders and then I'm going to extend my arms and I'm going to repeat for seven reps. Now, if you're not comfortable doing two arms, you can do one. Where Donna is just going to hold the band with one arm, I'm going to hold on to the bike with my opposite hand and I'm just going to do the one. Okay, so we're going to do seven repetitions. Once I've completed my seven repetitions, I am then going to anchor and Donna will perform hers. So we want to make sure we're sitting nice and tall, core tight, okay? So pinch those shoulders and Pull your fists into your body for one, and release, and repeat for two, release, three, release, four, five, six, 
and seven. Good. So now you are going to anchor and your partner is going to perform the exact same movement, making sure that you're squeezing those shoulder blades back. And go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now we're going to go for a second time. So we're doing two sets of our exercises. So your partner is now anchoring, our arms are straight, palms facing the ground, squeeze those shoulder blades back and pull your fists into your body for one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Good, last time. Now you're anchoring and your partner is pulling. Okay, so we're going for one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Excellent. Good. So we can just put the bands on our handlebars here. So we're done with these for now. So next we're going to do an agility drill. So we can imagine four squares underneath your feet. So two in the front, two in the back. So we're going to name the squares as if we were reading a clock. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. So your partner is going to call out numbers one through four, you don't know what they're going to call, and you're going to just move your foot to whatever number your calls, your, your partner calls. So it's going to get a little bit uh, loud and, and crazy, but you're just trying to make your partner move their feet in any which way direction. So we're going to do 30 seconds per partner. Okay, so I'm going to move my feet first and Donna's going to call for me, so you guys can figure out which partner is going to do which. All right, so if we're all set, we're going to begin. Okay, and go. One, two, three, four, two, three, oh. four, <laughs> one, three, two, four, two, four, three, 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 two, three, two, four, four, one, three, three, two, four. Oh, that was three, four. <laughs> one, one, two, two, three, three. Four. 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 Three. 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 Okay, good. And that is our 30 seconds. So now you're just going to switch roles and your partner is now going to call them out as they find that marker. It's harder than it seems. Okay. Everyone set? Here we go. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Four. One. One. <laughs> two, four, three, four, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, two, three, one, two, four, two, three, and four. Good. All right. Excellent. Good, so that was a bit, uh, a bit confusing, but that was good. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to work our core next. So there's a couple ways we can do this. First way is we're going to take our band and you can either wrap it around your handlebars, holding on to both tails of the band, sitting up nice and tall, core is tight. You're just going to keep your hands in your abdomen, brace your abs, and think about turning through your waist. So you don't want to turn your shoulders you just want to turn through your waist. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that, we can take the band, loop it around just one handlebar, hold it in the opposite hand, and brace yourself on the handlebars like so, and same thing, keep the band tight to your body, and just turn through your waist as you're engaging those abs. So we're going to do mirror images of your partner. So one partner is going to be turning left, one partner is going to be turning right, but you're both going to be going in the same direction. So we're going to try to do 10 repetitions on each side, okay? So everyone has their bands situated how they want, so we can go either around the handlebars like so, or we can just do the one and hold on with the one arm, whichever you prefer. Okay, so if everyone is all set, so converse with your partner, decide which direction you guys are going to turn first because we're trying to do mirror images. All right, so Donna, let's go this way. Okay, all right, shoulders are back, abs are engaged, and we're turning for 10 reps. There's one, 
two, we're trying to mirror our partner's image. Three, we're going for 10. Four, turn through that waist, use those core muscles. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay, so now we're gonna go the opposite side. So what we do on one, we have to do on the other. All right, so you can get your band situated whichever way you want. Shoulders back, core engaged, and we're rotating to the opposite side now. Really try to use those abdominals to turn, not just your shoulders. Think about those obliques contracting and rotating you away. So there's five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine and ten all right excellent there you go so that is your 10 minute partner workout okay so now that you've worked out it's important that we do a cool down to help bring our heart rates back down so uh, what you're going to do is make sure that your handbrake is on your bike and what we're going to do is just a very gentle little bit of an arm swing a little bit of a foot uh, marching just opening up your arms, lifting your legs, just at a nice slow pace, almost as if you're just taking a nice leisurely walk. So you really wanna make sure that you're taking nice deep breaths as you do this, focus on your breathing. We're just trying to relax our bodies as we're cooling down from our strenuous workouts. So if you don't have the coordination to do arms and legs, then we can just focus on one body part at a time. So I'm gonna get Donna to hold on to the handles and just, just a nice easy march with the legs. It doesn't need to be very high. It's just to try to help flush out the muscles and relax things a little bit more. So again, we're just taking nice deep breaths, just lifting our feet in a little bit of a marching movement. Good, so now let's make our feet become stationary and we'll just do some nice easy swings with our arms, taking nice deep breaths, just trying to open up as much as you can. Focusing on your breathing as we go, perfect. So if we're not comfortable releasing both hands from the handlebars, then let's hold on to the handlebars with one hand and just open up with one arm, just swinging back and forward, taking nice deep breaths, trying to open up your chest a little bit as you go, perfect. Good, and let's switch over to that opposite arm, open up, and swing forward. Good, taking nice deep breaths, trying to relax. Nice and open. Good. Excellent, perfect. So let's just march our feet a little bit more. Take nice deep breaths. Perfect. Just flushing out all that hard work from your muscles. Good, so let's go for a few more seconds. Perfect. Good, and relax, and let's just finish off with two nice deep breaths. So if you're comfortable, you can have your arms down in front of you, take a deep breath in, raise your arms up, fill those lungs as much as you can, and exhale out, swing your arms down. Good, and let's do one more time. Deep breath in, open the chest, fill those lungs. Perfect, and down. Excellent, so that's your cool down. If you'd like to perform a few more stretches, then you can go into one of our stretching videos for either upper body, lower body, or a combination of both.